halt to trot. Make sure he's nice and soft. Push. If he feels like he's against your hand, then you back him up. Good. Very good. Good. Now ask him to get deeper in the bridle at the trot by punching into him with your spurs. So he's a little behind your hand there. If he'll go deeper, then he's ready to canter. If he won't, then you got to stop him. Good job. Very pretty. That looks great. And then you just ride along and every once in a while ask him to be softer in the bridle by pinching into him with a spur, one or the other. If he doesn't have bend, you use your inside spur. If he feels like he's getting against your hand, then you do a downward transition. Might be good to do one now because he's against you. Push. Good. And come to a halt and maybe back him up for a step just to make sure that he's really ready to behave. Good boy. Now take him right back to canter when you get him real soft. Hold your hands down. Don't give. Nope. See, it's way better than it's ever been, but it's time to punch down on him a little bit going up into that canter. Keep rebalancing him. Push in, hold. Push in and hold. See if he'll give you a little bit more lightness in the bridle. Nope, take him back down to a halt. Don't fight with him. Back up. Back up a good long way because he's really against you. Get back. 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 Good boy. Now punch your hands down into that saddle and make him walk forward into that bridle. Good boy. Now hold your hands just like you've got them. Take him to trot. Pinch, good. And then pinch, hold your hands down and see if he'll just ooze up into canter. Good girl, that was better. Very nice. Beautiful, now give on right rein a little bit. And now get your bend back. Good boy, pretty. That looks very nice. And it looks easy to ride. That's good. Just take him to a halt. Perfect. 